Hi guys, so this is not Friday, but I'm going to be busy this weekend because it's my birthday and we're going out of town and I'm very excited and I want to go ahead and read my hashtag Friday read early so that I can go ahead and get it up. I didn't do one last week because I didn't, well, wasn't reading anything. I hadn't even decided what I was going to read and this week I have an abundance of books. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and film this now on Wednesday and I will be reading these books through the weekend. So. The first book, um, I have to thank Whitney for. She's Books Are Love X3 here on YouTube. I filmed a video of me opening this package that she sent me, and I didn't really film it. You know what I mean? It's one of those times where you thought you hit the record button, and in fact, you were talk talking to absolutely no one. That's what happened to me, so Whitney, I'm really sorry, but I appreciate your package. She sent me The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. I've been wanting to read this for a really long time, and not only does she send me this, but it's also a signed copy, which is really cool. I almost hate to read it because I don't want to mess it up or anything. And she sent me this really cute little note inside. I'm not going to read it because it's just kind of awkward when people do that, I think. But um, I really appreciate it, Whitney. Thank you. And she also sent me in my package these little Days of the Week pens that are also um, bookmarks. And I've talked about this on my channel before, but I like things to hold my book open, but I also need bookmarks. Like, I go through a ton of bookmarks. I have the little magnetic ones. I have paper clips. I have real bookmarks. So anything that will hold my place in a book is awesome. And this is a flipping pin. How cool is that? I cannot wait to open these. So thank you, Annie. That is really awesome. Um, I've already started The Fault in Our Stars. I'm about a fourth of the way through, I guess. Um... I don't know why. I just couldn't wait to get started. But previous to getting this package, I started The Monsters of Templeton by Lauren Groff. Yeah. Lauren Groff. This book just sounds really, really good. Um, it's kind of slow. The writing style um, is kind of getting on my nerves a little bit. She'll start off on one thing, and in the middle of her one story, like, she'll be talking about her best friend and calling her best friend and then she'll go off on this big long story about how her, her and her best friend met. And when she was talking about her mother, she went through her mother's whole history and her grandparents. And I don't know, I get really, um, it's almost like they get sidetracked and go off on these little side notes. And that drives me insane, but the story is really good and everything that she's writing about is interesting. Um, I just kind of get aggravated with that writing style. But this is a really good book. Um, and I picked this book up because... On Saturday of last week, I picked up Uncle Tom's Cabin, Cabin by Harriet Breacher Stowe. I don't know why I can't talk. <laughs> um, I picked this up because it's Black History Month, and this is a book that I've always wanted to read and um, just never have. I, you know, probably should have read it at some point in my life, but I didn't. Um, anyway, so this was the first book I picked up this month, and um, I started reading my second book because this one is a little bit hard to get used to. Her writing style also um, is kind of different, um, the way she jumps back and forth. Um, but I do like it. It's just taking me, it's just, it's a little slow. I'm not far into it. I'm 115 pages out of 400 and something in. Um, it's a good story. It's good. It's just not something that I can sit down and read all at once. So that's why I picked up the other book. And then I got The Fault in Our Stars and couldn't wait to read it. So... I've been sitting down and reading like a chapter at a time of each of these books. I know this probably isn't the best reading habit to get into, but um, sometimes I do this. Sometimes I read multiple books at a time like I'm doing now. So anyway, that's what I will be reading over the weekend. I probably won't get any of these done because we are going out of town, like I said, for my birthday. I'm going to be super old on my birthday, but, um, you know, it's better than the alternative. So I'm glad to be having another birthday. A lot of people, you know aren't that fortunate, I guess. So anyway, before I get all deep and emotional, I'm going to go. I hope you guys have a great weekend. My haul, I mean, not my haul, not a haul video. My um, giveaway will be coming up as soon as I get back home and um, things get settled. I will go ahead and draw the letters and all that good stuff. So I hope you guys have a great weekend. And I just realized I forgot to tell you what hashtag Friday Reads is. And if you don't know, then head over to Bunny's channel. I'll link her below um, because she does one every Friday and she kind of brought the whole thing to YouTube. But by now, you should know. Okay? You should know by now. So I will see you guys later. Have a good weekend.